Following the high-profile defection of the former Syrian Prime Minister Riyad Hajib, it has been confirmed that Mr Hajib is in Jordan with his family. Speaking at a news conference, the Jordanian Information Minister Sami Mehta confirmed he had arrived on Wednesday with his family and was now under state protection. Speaking in Arabic, he said, What has happened in Syria since last year has affected the relationship between Syria and most countries in the world. However, we hope everyone can understand that Jordan will not close its door to any Syrian, be he an official or an ordinary citizen. They can all seek asylum and protection in Jordan. Reporters then asked what Mr Hijab's next move would be, to which he replied, It's up to him to decide what to do next, to stay in Jordan or leave for other countries. In response to the deteriorating situation, the Foreign Secretary William Haig has pledged the UK's commitment of an extra £5 million to the Free Syrian Army. This will not include weapons or arms, but will go towards more radio and satellite equipment, as well as portable power generators. He said this is the right thing to do. Mr Hajib, who was appointed less than two months ago, was the first Syrian cabinet minister and the most high-profile departure to defect and join the rebels. This follows the defection last month of Syria's ambassador to Iraq, Nawaf Fares, who is also believed to be in Jordan. I'm Ann Salter. Thanks for watching. For the very latest news and updates on Syria, follow me at our website at ibtimes.co.uk.